G'day guys, Matt from Aussie Offset Smoking, and today we are going to be cooking lamb ribs. So, let's get started. So, we've got ourselves some beautiful lamb ribs here from our local butcher. We're going to be doing these on the flaming coals offset behind me. But first, we need to get these rubbed down put in the fridge so they can marinate. All right, so what we've got, we've got beautiful treat your meat, lamb love rub, and some olive oil. Now, don't stress about me touching this one with dirty hands because it's gonna be the last time I use this rub, it's going out, we're gonna be finished with it. We're pretty much gonna use it all right now. So, same with the olive oil. Anyway, so what we're gonna do, give it a good drizzle, one hand, because you want to get one hand dirty, one hand clean. Give them a good cover. Smash them in olive oil. So all that beautiful rub sticks like a treat. All right, next thing we can do, take our rub. Good liberal coating. Now we're not being shy here, because we're going to marinate these for around oh, probably two hours, so the flavour really penetrates into the meat. Don't forget, do your underside, right. Stick them on a foil tray. Don't want to waste any of that rub there. Foil tray, beautiful. Wrap them down tight. Cover them with foil. Guys, I don't use cling wrap anymore. I hate the stuff. I can't use it, to be honest. So, you know, aluminium foil all the way. We're going to stick that in the fridge for around two, two and a half hours, and we'll come back to it. All right. So we're back at the flaming coals offset. We've grabbed our lamb ribs out of the fridge. We've put them on the smoker. Been sitting in there for around half an hour. I'm gonna check on the colour, see how they're coming along. I'm not expecting much at this point, but let's have a quick look. Just as expected, not much colour, not much happening, but we'll leave them in there for another hour and a half, check back in, maybe give them a spritz if they need. But in the meantime, let's have a look back at the pit. It's been about another 25 minutes now. These lamb ribs are not taking anywhere near as long as I thought they would. I've never cooked them before. I'm sort of just giving it a go. So you're learning along with me. Now, we're going to have a quick little look inside the pit. Now, our ribs are developing a good colour. We're going to check the temperature. Anything over 165, we know we're happy and they're good. But I'm trying to render out a little bit of these fat because there was quite a thick fat layer in between and I want to see what happens and try and get more of a really fall apart consistency. So let's check the temp. Okay, so all our ribs that are around 165, 166, we're just going to do a bit of shuffling around, get some of the ones at the front to the back and vice versa so we can get a nice even cook. All right. Now, as always, when handling food, it's best to wear gloves if your hands aren't like mine and used to the heat. So... We'll check back in a little bit and see how we go. 
Okay, so the plan was to bring these ribs out and show everyone the finished product on the smoker. Um, but unfortunately, one of my work trucks has blown a tire and I had to go and help the young bloke out. A um, bit of time's lapsed and, well, now the pit's out. But luckily for me, the missus grabbed the ribs out and she's chucked them in the oven on keep warm. Um, they're all done. They're tender as. So we'll cut to a shot of that and we'll get to see the finished product. Unfortunately, we didn't get to make the whole video, but that's life. And as they say, it'll end in beers. So, hope you all enjoyed watching. I'm Matt from Aussie Offset Smoking. Unfortunately, not everything goes to plan. All right. So, here we are with the old uh, ribs. Just grabbed them out of the oven. Um, so, we'll have a little bit of a look. Now, that is bloody good colour on them. Plenty tender, so I'm not going to argue about any of that. And as I hate watching people take a bite on camera, I'm going to be doing it behind it. Well, there you have it. That's the end of my rib cook. Unfortunately, not everything goes to plan, but here we are. We still got an awesome result. Thanks for watching.